Now it comes time to reinstalling. Make sure you just give the airbox a nice wipe over. Get any of the residue and dust back out of the bottom there. And when you go to put the filter back in, make sure you put it in into the bottom first. Push it in to make sure it's evenly pushed down. It's not going to stop the air, the airbox from popping back up. Other trick is if you use the vehicle in heavy dust, we sometimes recommend also just putting a little bit of extra like sealing grease along the edge of them. This way, with modern four-wheel drives, the airboxes don't always seal that great. So if you just put a thin skim of grease around the outside, high temp bearing grease is generally the best one to use. Just, just helps improve the seal around the airbox. Stops any dust coming through the sides. Once you've done that, when it comes time to reinstalling the lid of the airbox, always line up the back. If it's got clips at the back, always line them up nice first. And bring it down. And let it sit. Make sure it's pushed down properly. And yeah, before you put the clips on, if you put the clips on before it's lined up properly, you can break them. So just clip them back on. And make sure you put the intake hose back on. Just push it home nicely. That one doesn't want to go on. There we go. Just push that home properly. Just, just do it up so it's nice and firm. Just double check all the clips and make sure you push the airbox down properly. And you're ready to go again.